Oh, what's up guys? This is gonna be a real quick and short video today, but I wanted to actually tell you guys what was one of the main things that sold me on buying my 2017 Dodge Challenger RT. But if you guys are new here, my name is Jeffrey. I do videos on my Dodge Challenger and alongside the project vehicle on the channel, which is a 2005 lifted Jeep Grand Cherokee. And uh, I do a whole bunch of car stuff. So if you're interested, check out my channel, subscribe for more. But let's jump right into things. Now, one of the main things that sold me on buying my Dodge Challenger, if I look back about two years ago, this is back when I was still making videos on my Jeep Wrangler. And me and my fiance, we went to the local uh, car show, our Buffalo, New York, you know, the auto show that comes, you know, when it makes the rounds through different cities every year. We did the uh, auto show. And I remember I was considered buying a lot of different cars. I knew I knew I wanted to move on from my Jeep Wrangler and I knew I wanted something else. I literally had a whole spreadsheet full of options and stuff like that. I was going through different uh, things. I know I was heavily considering getting a Ford Focus RS, even maybe getting an ST if I wanted to be cheaper, just getting like an ST would be a lot cheaper. Um, either a Dodge Challenger, um, getting a Mustang GT, or getting a uh, Camaro SS. Um, had a lot of different options and there's just a lot of different stuff and that was back when the JL was coming out that was back literally like when they first were showing them at the auto show so I got a chance to like really just go and like look at all of the, the different vehicles all at pretty much the same time One of the main things that just stuck out to me is like immediately when I saw the Challenger and I sat in it it immediately just sold me that's the one benefit of going to the auto show you can really go and sit inside each vehicle back to back to back and it really gives you a good perspective of what the car actually is in comparison to other vehicles for example i sat inside the ford focus rs i honestly loved the way it felt the seats were very bolstered the recall racing seats were really nice the interior was okay for what it was but it didn't quite feel as fun or truly just special to me when I got inside the Challenger, it just felt like immediate muscle car, immediate just fun, and immediately just just large and in charge. And it's gonna be really hard to kind of compare them all back to back unless you go to a setting where you can sit inside all the vehicles back to back to back. Now, fast forward to this year, we just went actually the past, uh, like literally over the past, we, or like two days ago, we went to the uh, 2020 auto show that was here. And immediately when I saw the Challenger again, I loved how everyone was just crowding around it. Don't get me wrong, people were crowding around other vehicles as well, you know, like the Audis and everything else. Even the new mid-engine Corvette, people were crowding around a lot of different vehicles. But just when people were seeing the Challenger, there was something cool about it, that people were taking pictures, people were like really like excited to see it. And that just reminded me of when I first got my chance to sit inside my, or to sit inside a Challenger, like that was my first opportunity to sit inside of a Challenger and really like inspect it. Going to an auto show like that, it, is actually a good idea if you want to compare different vehicles back to back to back because honestly unless you're going to dealership to dealership to dealership to dealership, to dealership you really don't get the opportunity to go and sit inside different vehicles all at the same time or unless you go to a used car dealership if you're buying a car used you just you just it just depends on what inventory they have there so honestly going to auto shows are one of the best things you can do if you really are looking or if you're in the market for another vehicle it's the best thing to do even though the only the only negative thing is though you have people waiting in line so you can't really like you know sit in it and spend like a whole half an hour but at least you can you know open it up look at the trunk look at the you know the rear seats and everything like that and you, it gives you somewhat of a good perspective about that even though the one bad thing about the auto shows though all the cars there are usually way optioned out so you're not it's not that's not exactly going to be the trend that you get unless you want to get your car you know completely optioned out but at least you get a good idea of what the car is and kind of you know get a good example of what you're going to be getting yourself into but yeah guys so that's pretty much it for this video it's a real quick and short video but hopefully this guy will help you guys out if you guys are thinking about buying a challenge or if you're thinking about buying a different vehicle ho hopefully this video will be helpful to you guys but yeah my best advice go to auto show if you can the best thing you could do since i have the vehicles back to back to back it would help you out a lot but like that i'm gonna end the video here so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a like check out my channel follow me on instagram omega greed the same name as the youtube channel and like that right here and goodbye